speak Darkness has to bow Confusion has its final hour Well, happy Thanksgiving morning to you. Welcome to the Thursday Three. And what I thought I'd do for this special Thanksgiving edition is just read one of my favorite psalms of Thanksgiving, Psalm 100, in its entirety. Listen to what it says. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful singing. Know that the Lord himself is God. It is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good, his loving kindness is everlasting, and his faithfulness to all generations. If you go back through that psalm, you'll see so many reasons why we should give thanks, for he has made us, and not we ourselves. And like we learned in Psalm 23, he is the shepherd and we are his sheep. He cares for us, he tends for us, he seeks us when we're lost, He brings us back. We ought to give him praise for his goodness and his righteousness and his holiness and every gift, every single gift we have. So this Thanksgiving Day, may you be the thankful one. May you be the one who welcomes others and reflects God's love to them. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you'll take a few minutes to just get by yourself And thank God for all the blessings that come to your mind. Turn over a rock a few times. I think you know what that means if you've been on this journey with us. For now, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you next time. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you.